Batches, because you're not going on a flyer here. <laughs> you know, that's trainer of the year 2022 to 2023, Grant Smith, you know, owner of the Steel City Gym. There's nowhere for the other champions to hide now. One at a time, they'll get their turn. What I do is different to anything anyone else does in a boxing ring. Ah! Ah! The world is waiting. And I think right now, I'm the number one flyweight in the world. I would argue I'm one of the best fighters in the world. I'm Sonny Showtime Edwards, IBF flyweight champion, and the best flyweight in the world. It's all in the hips, you know? <laughs> I'm a happy place, this. Sun shining outside. Two and a half weeks out of a fight. I mean, what's there to complain about? Yeah. Fight night's my best night of the year. Better than my birthday, better than Christmas. Yeah. The best night of the year. <laughs> you know what I mean? I see you doing the money on the side. Yeah, don't worry about that. That's granted. <laughs> Especially with this contract. Cheers, Eddie. <laughs> I think Eddie and the rest of Matchroom um, and the zone. I think they genuinely know that with me, you get a fighter that wants to fight, so I will fight anyone because I don't just say boxing means everything to me lightly. There's time for partying, there's time for holidays, there's time for, you know, watch, seeing bikinis on the beach. There's, there's time for all of that. And this is the time for fighting. So, you know, I mean, I picked down, I picked, I put down the phone, I rang on my team. You know, we're going in seven weeks, let's go. I made the decision. And next week I'll do it all over again. It's not that I just want the belts. I don't want anyone else to have them. It sickens me, it pains me that there's three other people out my way that walk around saying the same shit I say. The fact that with professional boxing, you can't force someone into the ring with you and they can go around marooning around a, a belt. Like, look at Martinez for fuck's sake. That's terrible, I genuinely believe. How could he even consider himself a world champion? He won it in a vacant title. Foul drugs test. Same fights, rescheduled, rescheduled, rescheduled. Fighting easy opposition, I'd get slaughtered for. Every single fight that he gets is easy. Terrible records, like 11 and threes, 15 and seven, like, what? Then to be a world champion, you'll walk around and try and tell people that you're anywhere near the fighter that I am. And really, there'll be people that'll be agreeing because he's a world champion at flyweight. Boxing's just obsolete because you have these world champions headlocking world titles, headlocking good contracts and just taking easy fights. That kills the sport. Fighting with myself, it would be not getting complacent when I know that deep down I'm better than someone and preparing in the same way and, and, and letting it slip with the ring. When I'm up against it, I never do. There isn't that, there isn't that space in me. I know that I can't want to be Do you know once someone's turning down a fight asking for more money, I know I've beaten them. And that sounds stupid to a lot of people, but I know I've beaten that person because a fighter like me, wants to fight now. They don't need every bit of money. They don't need to make more money next year. They don't need any of that because that's not what they're fighting for. I'm fighting, I'm existing in a space where I think I'm the best. Anyone that has any sort of argument for that, I want to see them next. So I can't get fed to the wolves. I am the wolf. I am the top of the tree. I want the hardest. I want the best. I want the biggest threats. When I say that I'm going to beat all these fighters, and look good doing it. I genuinely am. I've been telling people how good I am for a very long time. And only now people are starting to cotton on. I'm fighting Andros Campos from Chile and outside of him and his fans abusing me on Instagram for the last half many years. I don't really know too much about him. I don't really care about knowing too much about him. When I get in there, it's the sunny show. And it's showtime. And there's no time like showtime. So when I get in there, it's whatever I want it to be. So I don't focus on him. I don't need to talk about him. I don't think no one watching down in this camera lens cares. It's the Edwards show. <laughs>